When it comes to adding a roof to your SketchUp model, what you need to do first is use your arrow tool to triple click on your model until it's all selected in blue. Right click and make group. And this way when we actually put the roof on, we're less likely to cause any problems to the model underneath. And if we make a mistake, we can delete the roof without actually affecting the model. A roof is basically uh, a continuation of the idea that a roof is a cube. We draw a rectangle over the top of the roof space. Now if you haven't grouped this, this won't work. Click on the push-pull tool. Raise the roof up to the height of the roof that you're after. If you want to add eaves, you need to drag out the roof to the distance of the eaves that you want to have around. Once you've done that, you need to think about the type of roof that you're after. If you would like a regular pitched roof, grab the push-pull tool, drag it up to the height of the pitch. On the front, use the pen tool to click in a corner and drag it across until it snaps at the midpoint. And draw another tool there. You can then use the push-pull tool to simply push away, I might need to rotate around, push away the parts of the roof that you don't want. Like this, and like this. You can then add Make It Colour Bond, you could add a little feature here, and that is the way to make a regular pitched roof. If you would like to, a different type of roof, I'll go through with that now. If you wanted to make a flat roof, drag it down. In order to make it look a little bit interesting, use the offset tool. and push in the center. You could then add sol solar panels or a green roof, anything that you like. Another type of roof is a skillion roof, which is where it just has one triangular angle, like this. So it's really up to you. If you wanted to do a curved roof, you can use, if you click on this little curve tool, use the second one down. Draw on a nice gentle curve onto the face of the roof. Then use the same technique to push away the section of the roof that you don't want. So we have a curved roof and you can just add colour bond onto there. Now, if you wanted to do two roofs, that's also quite easy. So in this case, I could have two different sections for the different areas. this
You can then add poles and that kind of thing. It's really up to you. You can be as creative or as simple as you like with your roof. So there we go. And that's how to create a basic roof onto your house. Don't delete your house.